you ever do pull downs when you're working out? If so, listen up. There are some key things that you need to keep in mind in order to make sure you are getting the most from this exercise. Hey, welcome back to Trainer Tip Tuesday, where all month long we are gonna be talking about the pull down exercise. There are some very specific things that you need to keep in mind to make sure that this exercise is both safe and effective for you. This week on Trainer Tip Tuesday, we are continuing our conversation about the pull down machine. Today, specifically, we'll be discussing different considerations when choosing your hand position. Sometimes we pull like this, sometimes we'll see people pulling like this, or any variation between those two. Today, we'll talk about the whys and what you should consider when choosing your hand position. If you have a pull down machine that has movable handlebars like ours does, this has a nice swivel to it, and an out and in swivel. My first recommendation is to choose a position that feels comfortable on your shoulders and your hands and wrists. For most people, that's gonna be somewhere in between fully straight out and fully tucked in. So Charlie, go ahead and do one showing us this in between range. So if you see his arms are like, I don't know, 45 degrees, 45 degree angles out. Now, some considerations when choosing your hand position is number one, comfort. And the next one will be is what you have available on your machine. Some pull down machines have a straight bar. So you kind of only have the option of having your hands straight forward. So Charlie, show us an example like that. And what happens is that your arms become opposing arcs. So if you notice his elbows, they both go out to the side and in. Sometimes when you do it this way, you can be kind of targeting more of the muscle fibers that pull this direction. The muscle that we're challenging is kind of like a fan type muscle. And then if you pull super, super narrow, that can sometimes be challenging more of these up and down type fibers. But again, if anything feels weird on your hands, wrists, or shoulders, you wanna be avoiding those ranges so that you're not injuring another area of your body while you're doing these pull downs. Keep these tips in mind the next time you do the pull down exercise to make sure you're getting the most out of it that you can.